Well, hello everyone. I trust that you're having a great day abiding in Christ. Uh, this is my last little reminder about the wonderful conference we have coming up starting Wednesday night at seven o'clock as we have this time together for a few days in the book of Esther. This is not just gonna be a Bible study time. I'm expecting as we have happened in all of our conferences that everyone who comes will have an encounter with the Lord. That encounter could just be encountering him in the book of Esther's and the truth that sets us free as we take a deep dive into that amazing book. It could be that God uses the time we're together for you to experience uh, an enormous emotional or in, inner healing or even physical healing. And there'll be stories come out of this conference of people who had real encounters with the Lord that radically changed their life. It won't be the last change because God's forever changing us. We're forever experiencing more and more of him. But I believe this is going to be a very important set apart time. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do is make sure we understood how the fasting, feasting days work. I think that we uh, accidentally sent out a letter saying to people who were signed up that the Esther feast starts tomorrow night, Wednesday night at sundown and goes to Thursday night sundown. Actually, if you're gonna do the Esther fast, then it starts tonight, Tuesday, at sundown, and then you can break the fast tomorrow night, Wednesday, at sundown. Because once the sun goes down tomorrow night, we go from the fasting to the feasting of Purim. And the feasting of Purim will last from sundown tomorrow night until sundown Thursday night. So again, if you are wanting to join in the fast, which is a great way to participate in the whole um, Esther Purim celebration, is the fast starts tonight at sundown, ends tomorrow night at sundown, tomorrow night, Wednesday night at sundown. If you've not registered and there's still an opportunity just circumstantially for you to come, I really encourage you to come. Prophetically, we're living in an Esther time. It's a very important and dramatic time in human history. And nothing could be more appropriate. And I think nothing could be more clarifying in how to steward what we're walking through, what we're going through, what we've been going through for the last few years, what we're going to continue to go through in the next few years. Nothing could better prepare you for that than the study in the book of Esther, which so um, uh, drills down into our hearts the sovereign reign of God in every detail of our lives. So it's going to be so much fun, but it's going to be so profoundly powerful. So if you're able to come and you've not been able to register, I pray that you would. If you register, it doesn't mean that people who are living in uh, Selma or a CTK, if you register, that doesn't mean that you're obligated to come to every session. Uh, those of you who are able to take time off and come to every session, it'll help. But if you're still having to work and only come to the evening sessions at 7 o'clock, then that's great. That'll work perfectly. If you can't come at all, or you want to come to some, and you, and, and you're, but you'd still like to see it um, happening in time, uh, in present time instead of just recorded, then you can go on to the CTK Selma um, Facebook page or the CTK Selma YouTube, and we'll be live streaming on both of those. I think you can also find how to do that exactly on the Aslan, A-S-L-A-N, Roars, R-O-A-R-S website, which is aslanroars.org or ctkselma.net. That's a lot of information. But I think it'll work if you just do CTK Selma or Christ the King Selma, either Facebook or YouTube, whichever one you want to watch. It's going to be on both. So I just pray for us. I'm... I'm as excited about this conference as anyone I've ever done. I do have to confess that I get excited about all the conferences because I love to encounter God in the truth of the word because truth sets free. Some of the greatest miracles I've ever experienced in my life or breakthroughs was simply hearing truth spoken through studied scripture or somebody delivering a word from the Lord, from the Bible. So we'll have time for prophetic. We'll have time for... Um, praying for healing. We'll have all kind of cool stuff, but we're going to take a deep dive, and I believe an eye-opening dive into the book of Esther that will prepare you 
to be able to practice the presence of the enemy. I mean, to practice the presence of God and not the presence of the enemy. Too many Christians practice the presence of the enemy. I believe this deep dive in Esther will set you free from always practicing the presence of the enemy, which causes great anxiety, or practicing the presence of God, even though the enemy seems to be so prevalent, seems to be so involved in so many things. The heart of the book of Esther is that when it appears that the enemy is winning, it's when you can know with confidence that God is advancing, even though you can't see it in the natural yet. If we can get that mindset down inside of us, whether it involves world affairs, things like what's going on in Europe or the pandemic, or just in your own personal life, if you believe sovereign God is reigning and winning in the affairs of your life, if you can understand that disappointments are now part of his appointments, if you can get that down inside of you, then you'll find yourself being able to walk through the valley of the shadow of death, practicing the presence of God instead of living in fear, practicing the presence of the enemy. So hopefully I'll see many of you um, on uh, tomorrow night at 7 when we start. And I'll be praying for those of you who do the fast this evening and tomorrow during the day. I'll be praying for all of you who come, for all of you watching on live stream. And um, I would ask you to pray for us that we will be so sensitive to the Holy Spirit that every single thing God wants to accomplish in this conference will be accomplished to the full, a hundredfold harvest. I like it when God does anything. I like it when it's the 30-fold or 60-fold, but I really love it when we so cooperate with him that we see a hundredfold harvest of what God wants to accomplish in our lives. I pray that's what we see this week in our time in the book of Esther. God bless you.